Welcome to the Bowling Green Ministerial Association's Thanksgiving Worship Service. In light of COVID and the ongoing pandemic, the Ministerial Association decided to do something a little bit different this year. And so while we are not in someone's sanctuary sharing with one another together in one place, we are offering to you an opportunity to share in worship in this video format. In this service, you will hear litany of praise and thanksgiving. You will hear words of encouragement and songs of praise. This is a time when we get to give thanks to God for all of God's blessings, to share our gratefulness, to be reminded of how powerful the love of Christ is for us and for one another. And so we invite you to share with us and to hold out uh, through the end to pray and praise and give thanks to our great God who has blessed us even in this season of pandemic. Make a joyful noise to the Lord, all the earth. Worship the Lord with gladness. Come into God's presence with singing. Know this, the Lord is God. Know this, we belong to the Lord who made us. Know this, we are God's people and are the sheep of God's pasture. So enter God's gates with thanksgiving. Come into the holy courts with praise. For the Lord is good. God's steadfast love endures forever. God's faithfulness is for all generations. Let us pray together. Holy God, creator of all that is, you are the author of all our blessings. We gather this evening as a community of faith in Bowling Green and far beyond to give you thanks and praise. In a time when we have been so focused on our needs, our, our trials and challenges, we dedicate this service to you with grateful hearts. For your everlasting arms of steady love have not failed and never will. And so we ask that you accept this humble offering of our prayers, meditations, and music as expressions of our community's love for you and trust in you. Holy Lord, you are the one who knows the depths of every human heart, and, and we cannot. But in this hour, through your Holy Spirit, we ask that you bind us to each other. Those of us in times of joy and those in times of grief, those in times of health and vigor, and, and those who are ill. Those newborn, and those in their final days. Those new to the life of faith, and those who have walked with you for generations. Bind us together, Lord. Allow us to savor and delight in the rich lives of all members of our community. And pour your new life into us and into our community as we take this pause in our scattered lives to completely center on our truest inner hearts, offering in this service our truest inner words to you. Thank you. We pray all these things together as a community created and gathered by your holy hand 
through Christ our common Lord. Amen. A reading from Deuteronomy. For the Lord your God is bringing you into a good land, a land of brooks of water, of fountains and springs, flowing forth in valleys and hills, a land of wheat and barley, of vines and fig trees and pomegranates, a land of olive trees and honey, a land in which you will eat bread without scarcity, in which you will lack nothing, a land whose stones are iron, and out of whose hills you can dig copper, and you shall eat and be full, and you shall bless the Lord your God for the good land he has given you. Let us pray. All good gifts around us are sent from heaven above. So we lift our hearts up to you, God, in praise and thanksgiving as we count our blessings and acknowledge your goodness. Our hearts go out to those who do not have and who are in need. We thank you for plentiful harvests and full refrigerators and ask that you supply the needs of those who are hungry in this season. We thank you for jobs that provide for our families and supply the needs of our society. And we are mindful today of those who have lost their jobs. We pray that you would care for those who have no work. We pray for those who have to struggle to make ends meet. We thank you for opportunities and choices and for meaning and challenges. We pray that you would give a sense of purpose to those who feel trapped in this year of changing tides and pivoting. We thank you, God, for family and friends who love us and care for us. And we pray that you would befriend those who are alone. The abundance of the harvest is a symbol of the abundance of your love in our lives. Oh God, may we live in a spirit of gratitude to you and generosity to our neighbor. Loving God in this season and all year long, give to us the gift of a thankful heart so that we may acknowledge you as the giver of all that is good in our lives. Holy God, as we come before you this night, on this week where we come together with our families and friends to offer thanks to you, we offer to you now in these moments of silence the prayers that we hold in our hearts and in our minds. Lord Jesus, hear our prayers now. Answer them as your will allows, filling us with your spirit as we ask. Amen. Amen. Friends, would you join me in this prayer of thanksgiving? Giver of all good things, we thank you for health and strength, for the air that gives the breath of life, the sun that warms us, and the good food that makes us strong, for happy homes and for the friends we love, for all that makes it good to live. Make us thankful and eager to repay by cheerfulness and kindliness and by readiness to help others. Freely we have received. Let us freely give. 
and the name of him who gave his life for us, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. A reading from the Psalms, chapter 32. What happiness for those whose guilt has been forgiven. What joys when sins are covered over. What relief for those who have confessed their sins and God has cleared their record. There was a time when I wouldn't admit what a sinner I was, but my dishonesty made me miserable and filled my days with frustration. All day and all night, your hand was heavy on me. My strength evaporated like water on a sunny day until I finally admitted all my sins to you and stopped trying to hide them. I said to myself, I will confess them to the Lord and you forgave me. All my guilt is gone. Alice Walker wrote, But one day, when I was sitting quiet and feeling like a motherless child, which I was, it come to me. That feeling of being part of everything, not separated at all. I knew that if I cut, my, cut a tree, my arm would bleed. And I laughed and I cried and I ran all around the house. I knew just what it was. In fact, when it happened, you can't miss it. I think it pisses God off if you walk by the color purple somewhere and don't notice it. Every day we walk by the color purple or green or yellow or blue and we don't notice it. Every day we refuse to hear the sound of laughter or footsteps or bird song, or weeping. Every day, God's extravagant gifts surround us and fill us and connect us with everyone and everything, and we don't notice it. Come and hear what God has done. Even when we don't notice, God's extravagant gifts continue to surround us and fill us and connect us with everyone and everything, showering our lives with grace. In the name of Christ, you have been forgiven. Praise be to God. Come and hear what God has done. God has listened to all our prayers. When we pass through the torrent of deep troubles, God turns the sea to dry land. When we are tangled in the web of life, God does not let our feet slip. When we are tested as silver is tried, God keeps us in the land of the living. When we go through the fire and water, God brings us to a spacious place. Come and hear what God has done. God surrounds us with steadfast love.
these words from the Gospel of Luke in the sixth chapter, verses 23, 27 through 31. Rejoice in that day and leap for joy. Love your enemies. Do good to those who hate you. Bless those that curse you. Pray for those who abuse you. If anyone strikes you on the cheek, offer the other also. And from anyone who takes away your coat, do not withhold even your shirt. Give to everyone who begs from you. And if anyone takes away your goods, do not ask for them again. Do to others as you would have them do to you. This is the word of God for the people of God. Thanks be to God. from Philippians. Rejoice in the Lord always. I will say it again. Rejoice. 
that your gentleness be evident to all. The Lord is near. Do not be anxious about anything. But in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your requests to God. And the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. Finally, brothers and sisters, whatever is true, whatever is noble, whatever is right, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is admirable, if anything is excellent or praiseworthy, think about such things.
O God, in your Son, Jesus the Christ, you richly bless us with all that we need. Bread from the earth and the bread of heaven which gives life to the world. Grant us one more thing. Grateful hearts to sing your praise in this world and in the world to come. Amen. this reading from Colossians in the third chapter, verses 12 through 17. Therefore, as God's chosen people, holy and dearly loved, clothe yourselves with compassion, kindness, humility, gentleness, and patience. Bear with each other and forgive each other if any of you has a grievance against someone. Forgive as the Lord forgave you. And over all these virtues, put on love, which binds them all together in perfect unity. Let the peace of Christ rule in your hearts, since as members of one body, you were called to peace. And be thankful. Let the message of Christ dwell among you richly as you teach and admonish one another with all wisdom through psalms, hymns, and songs from the Spirit, singing to God with gratitude in your hearts. And whatever you do, whether in word or deed, do it all in the name of the Lord Jesus giving thanks to God, the Father, through him. This is the word of God for the people of God. Thanks be to God. In this season of thanksgiving, in this season of gratefulness, 
In this season of pandemic and economic crisis, there are many in our community who are in need, specifically in need of food, in need of the ability to share with one another, uh, to have enough to eat. This year, we at the Ministerial Association have decided that the offering that we would normally collect should go to the Bowling Green Christian Food Pantry. Now, that becomes difficult when we are in a video format instead of worshiping together in a sanctuary. And so what you will find here is a link uh, that will be up the website for the Bowling Green Christian Food Pantry. And there on their site, you will have the opportunity to give, to donate, to share your gifts with the community. And so we encourage you to take a moment to, uh, after the video, to go out to the website uh, to give and to help those in our community who need it most. So take a moment now, write down the link and address to the food pantry and be prepared to give. We'll also include a link to the food pantry in the comments on the YouTube page. Thank you for your gifts and for all that you offer to our community. Join me in prayer. O redemptive and gracious and giving God, we thank you for the many, many gifts that you have given us of family and church and community and nation and each other. Thank you for the opportunity to respond with the gifts you have given us. Bless the gift and bless the giver that your name is known throughout the world, starting here in Wood County. In the name and for the sake of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. For the beauty of the earth, for the beauty of the skies, for the love which from our birth over and around us lies. Lord of all, to Thee we raise this our hymn of grateful praise. For the beauty of each hour of the day and of the night, hill and vale and tree and flower, sun and moon and stars of light. Lord of all, to Thee we raise this our hymn of grateful praise. For the joy of human love, brother, sister, parent, child, friends on earth and friends above, for all gentle thoughts and mild, Lord of all, to Thee we raise this our of grateful praise. Lord of all, to Thee we raise this our hymn of grateful praise. Thank you. 
And now, my friends, go out into the world in peace. Have courage. Hold fast to what is good. Return no one evil for evil. Strengthen the faint-hearted. Support the weak. Help the suffering. Honor all people. Love and serve the Lord your God, rejoicing in the power of the Holy Spirit. And do it all with light and thankful hearts. And the grace, mercy, and peace of God, our Creator, our Redeemer, and our Sustainer, be with us all this day and forevermore. Amen.